Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Thursday. Looks like the person behind a mass shooting in an LGBTQ plus nightclub in America that left five people dead will avoid being executed. Anderson Lee Aldrich is already doing life in prison over the attack at Club Q in Colorado in 2022. It's now led to 74 hate crime and gun charges with the potential for the death penalty. However, it's thought the 23-year-old who identifies as non-binary has agreed a plea deal to rule this out in return for admitting guilt on the latest charges. Joshua Thurman survived the shooting and told Nine News at the time he managed to hide. I ran to the dressing room uh, where the drag queens change and get ready for their performances. We closed and locked the doors, we got down on the ground and we cut off all the lights. I'm thinking, like, at any second, this man could just bust through the door and kill us if he really wanted to. 19 people were injured at Club Q. Aldrich, who's 23, is serving multiple life sentences with no chance of parole. A private hormone clinic for trans young people is the first to be approved by England's health regulator. As things stand, there's a five-year wait for those questioning their gender identity to get a first appointment from public health services. Of course, they'd have to pay to use the Gender Plus Clinic. It's been approved by the Care Quality Commission to prescribe hormones to over 16s. And Vladimir Putin's been smearing gender-neutral toilets. He claims they're the reason many Russians who've left the country are now returning. The president says the toilets are hard to accept for what he calls people with traditional, normal human values. I reckon if Putin had food poisoning and the nearest loo was unisex, he'd change his mind. I'm Kev McGrath. See you tomorrow.